Let's have a little recap here. I, I'm st I still cannot get over what we just I was witnessed. not expecting that like, at all. I've never seen a crowd get so hyped in Smash 4 in the past, like, few months. Especially at a local level like this. Absolutely. Oh MSU loves God. their own. More Christ. more than anything else, MSU loves their own. Oh, yeah. Now on no or <laughs> Nebula. Grand can, finals. Nebula can go home knowing that he has done the impossible today. Now let's do a little a little recap here. Nebula's run. Starting in pools. He beat Gunny Bun. Snow Black. Showdown Dre. Showdown Dre. Nom, 3-2. Unknown, he lost to 3-1. Yep. And then in losers, he beat Smasher, 3-2. Goma Kenpi, 3-2. Unknown, 3-2. This man is a 3-2. Do not go to game five against this dude. He is incredibly clutch. The game five fiend is what you can call this Pac-Man right now. But Zenodo? Zenodo's a different beast. Zenodo is this on be, another level. This would be the win of Nebula's life. He'd be one of the very few. All, like Out of the course of this entire PR season, no one in Michigan has beaten Zenodo at a ranked tournament. There was one. There's only been one person who's actually beaten Zenodo in a set since July in Michigan, and it's Nen. Nen beat him at an Ann Arbor arena, but we won't talk about grand finals in that set. Fair enough. Fair enough. So it's up to Nebula to be the man to do it for the first time. His first time and the first time in months for anyone. Exactly. But Zenodo, he's been watching. Yeah, Zeno Zenodo has had so much time to just relax and study. Nebula, he's got to be running so close to E. Absolutely. It he is. He has exerted himself in game five sets against how many Michigan PR players? Too many. Three of them now? Too many. Oh my yep. god. See, that, that's the, there's the there's the difference. I mean, most of the characters that we've seen fight against Pac-Man, they don't generally don't have the same falling speed that can kind of like go down there and, and just intercept it, it. Like maybe Mario could with Goma, but it like even Mario's fastball isn't that fast. Yeah. But and Goma Goma's not about going down there. Um, he's done it before, but it's really not a it's really not a safe thing to do. Three, Absolutely. Two, one, go. So, so in top 24 alone, Nebula has played 24 matches already. Not counting the one against Sonoto. Not now. counting. Yeah, before Grand Finals, he's played 24 sets or 24 matches. Wow. And it's nuts. He's, he has been absolutely on fire this, this entire is, time. This is called the marathon. Nebula's going to be like going home. He's going to go get some post tourney dinner. And he's going to sleep so well tonight knowing, I, holy shit, it happened. I really hope he doesn't have to drive all the way home tonight. Oh, my God. Did he? Yeah, really. I actually don't know how he got here. Normally, know. he drives with Supa or Runes. Supa, Runes, or Goof, or, or one of, one of yeah, those Macomb Somebody. People. Oh, uh, Bows. No, they're gone. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. If, I don't know how he got here then. He walked here. You know what? I think he was at the. I think he might have been at the, the weekly, weekly last night. I, I think he was. He was staying with somebody. I don't know. Who but, knows? Uh, but he has a lot of friends still on campus, from what I know. Oh, absolutely. All the MSU people, all MS, MSU Smash people are, are super tight. Um, Zenodo just playing with that strawberry just does not want Nebula to be able to play with his fruits. Zenodo is just saying, man, you know, you thought. Those were some tough sets you just played. Time for Welcome the final boss. To the hidden boss. Oh yeah, no, not, yeah, not even the final boss. No, no. Unknown was the final boss. This is that secret, like you have to do all of the side this quests. This is how you get the hundred percent. Yes. This is the last thing you do in the game. This is Kingdom Hearts One. You're versus Sephiroth inside Olympus Coliseum. The hardest match of your life. I thought I was just gonna up to. Four yeah, throw. Four throw. Not, not gonna quite get gonna get him, but uh, John Madden's not gonna get him. <laughs> yeah, scooping right up to, to the ledge, not getting trumped. Waiting for something to hit his shield before he dropped it, because he knew something was coming. And that's something I'm really seeing that like a lot of players weren't doing is that 
when you have the bell like like hitting about to hit you, a lot of people have been just like holding shield and it's been allowing Nebula to catalyze. That was the first time I've seen somebody actually roll willingly roll in. Oh, that's not gonna kill. It's not gonna kill, but it's certainly and he's not certainly gonna strikes a bow. Um, it's the, it's the man that okay that hit. That's cool. I oh, thought wow. I thought he was gonna actually use the monkey flip to go down there and intercept the trampoline, and that would have been one of the coolest like like top ten, actually top five grimiest gimps. Absolutely, would have been right there. You freaking monkey flip, like you do a smash attack monkey flip to get down there, crazy. All right, cool. so Zenodo at 164, and here's the thing. Here's where Zenodo's gonna gonna be set apart. He does not die. He's not falling for any of these these, like he's falling for some of the tricks, but none of the ones that are actually gonna take his stock. As somebody who has been watching Zenodo play competitive Smash Bros. probably since 2012, 2012-ish, this dude looks like he has a philosopher stone on him at all times because he just actually is an immortal. I believe it. And when he does die, it's like he accidentally dropped it. And something just happened to hit him. The wind blew, something like that. Yep, but that apple, that apple blew right there. See, the apple was actually the Philosopher's Stone, because it's red like it. Yeah, I, I, yeah <laughs> I see where we're going. I see where we're going. All right, so Nebula, only 48% so far in the stock, but Zenodo holding on to the apple. Zenodo going to just try and take this up with a quick 2-0 and set himself apart. Get that. Maybe 3-0. We gotta see. Nebula can still definitely do this. We've seen Pac-Man do some crazy stuff in the past to Diddy. Because honestly, Pac-Man is one of the few characters that actually has a more simple time dealing with Diddy Kong. Yes. I I've, actually I've I've seen him do some some pretty nasty stuff to some Diddy Kongs over the years. I've seen some of the best Diddies in the world lose to Sinji at majors. And I think a lot of Pac-Man's believe it's like only a 55-45 for Diddy. It's like that yeah. close to being even. It's one of Pac-Man's best top, like Pac-Man, Pac-Man loses to like the couple best characters in the game. Yeah, like the, Rosa, the top like five. Bayo, Bayo, Rosa Cloud, um, Sheik, pretty. And Diddy. Like pretty, pretty sizably for those three. But those other two are not too bad, um, relatively speaking. Um, here we go though, like while we've been chatting, Starting uh, to make the is, comeback. This is close, but that up smash will there do it. There we go. So right. for the first time, Nebula goes down 0-2 in a set. Yeah. That has not happened no. at all today. Ann Arbor smash is starting to come alive for their boy. This is if you think about it, this is Michigan versus Michigan State. A little bit, yeah. This is a little bit. Two alums of their respective alma maters colliding here at send off. What a, actually, what a great end, ending chapter to this tournament and to what Smash 4 has brought to the Michigan State Smash community. Absolutely. You have two, like, the two top players of their alma mater, of one of their alma mater, defending the home turf versus an invader of the rival school, coming at it. It's game three. Zenodo up 2-0, Nebula. He's got to pull a miracle out of his bonus fruits to try and take this set home. Absolutely. So what you what we what we missed a little bit in the middle there, uh, Nebula taking this opportunity to tease a character switch um, to his trusty secondary Ganon. Ganondorf. I would have honestly popped went up a little bit for Ganon. Went, I would I would have too. Went as far as the uh, stage select screen back to back back out again. Oh really? Man, um, he really was teasing it. Oh yeah. Crowd went wild for it. Zenodo rolled his eyes, but we have the Pac-Man again. Not surprising. His Ganon wow, what is a call out of the rolling. Absolutely. His Ganon is formidable, but not against a Diddy and not against his the Ganon best player in Michigan. Off Nam. That's true. But his his Nebula's career trophy of winning a Smash Field. It was done with some Ganon. Nice. Always good to see. But here we go, dead even. Nebula's favor, even. Oh my oh, god, the, what a pitiful excuse of a crab. <laughs> that was an interesting choice. Um, Nebula maybe not realizing that the uh, Hydrant had already been hit by Zenodo's shield, so it was not going to hit Zenodo himself. Oh, my oh god. I was he went like, down and then immediately second-guessed himself. He's like, hold up. 
Who oh, is all that? How many people have died to that side beat today? Oh, uh, Nona a few oh, times. Oh. Smasher a few Smasher, times. Yeah. Uh, oh. Not me. Yeah, let's not do that. It's not gonna be me. Oh my. Oh! This Pac Man, he is fine. That was clean from Zenodo, but that is going to take more than that to end this incredible run from Nebula. But Zenodo is going all in, and the Deep Kong certainly should. He has every right to with with being up two games. Gets the and apple a stock and, and the, a set. The, honestly, that's the best taunt for Pac-Man right there, where he's just sitting like la la la. Oh, he did ghosts. not. He did not get his taunt cancel, he's upset but it did about not it. matter. Uh, but he is. You can tell. You look at the player cam. Nebula is enjoying every moment of this. He has already well exceeded his hopes and dreams for wow. this tournament. Beautiful and pivot grab. Every little bit he can do from here on is just icing on top. And he's having a fantastic time. I'm having a fantastic time watching it. This has been, a, this has been one, one of, of the, my favorite top eights. Honestly, this has been one of the greatest top eights I've been able to cast. And I'm so happy to be able to see this, especially at one of the last tournaments for the state. All right, here we go. If it's comeback time, it's comeback time right now. 70% on Zenodo. Nebula grabbing that apple, Nebula's or grabbing the banana. Out. He is but just, a, he is just, <laughs> aren't you yelling to clean it up? Oh, no. All right, I was gonna say, I'm like, Nebula's right gonna right watch there. out because he is in that up smash range. And the tournament over is over. Zenodo takes it with a 3-0 over Nebula. What a fantastic, yes. fantastic he did set. Good today. Fantastic set, fantastic run.